Welcome everyone for another video lecture in convolution codes. Uh, in earlier video, uh, we saw an example of uh, decoding of convolution codes using Viterbi algorithm. Uh, in this video, uh, we will pick a similar example. However, we will uh, deal with an end to end case where for a given information bit, uh, we will try to uh, encode using uh, the structure of a given uh, uh, for the given structure of convolution encoder. Uh, with that encoded bits, will uh, transmit through the channel. The channel corrupts uh, the, uh, the transmitted bits and uh, whatever is received by the receiver, it will try to decode uh, using Viterbi algorithm. And this is a given structure for this example. It is a rate half encoder uh, with uh, the 3 as its constraint length. And uh, we have drawn a state diagram as well as the trellis diagram for this given uh, convolution encoder structure. Uh, we will not be repeating uh, that how we have obtained uh, these two uh, wherein uh, this is uh, earlier uh, video you can uh, refer uh, to uh, derived state diagram and trellis diagram uh, for uh, the given uh, convolution encoder structure. However, uh, we will utilize this uh, trellis diagram uh, for encoding process. Uh, for encoding process, we need to have information about uh, uh, the original bit sequence. Uh, this is the information bit sequence that is given to us. Uh, here you can observe that uh, 10111 is the original information bit. Uh, we will be utilizing or uh, appending uh, these two zeros in order to flush out uh, the memory. We need to reset the memory as discussed earlier uh, to make it back to zero state as original and hence we will uh, flush out uh, zeros uh, to uh, to reset the memory. We will utilize the same trellis. Uh, the problem with this trellis is it has got uh, structure for only up to 4 units of uh, duration, uh, 4 units of time, but the information bit sequence is around uh, 7 bits of uh, length. Uh, so hence we need to extend this for 3 more bit duration uh, to in order to get the encoded bit stream. Uh, we will redraw this for 7 uh, bit of uh, uh, duration uh, and if you begin with the first bit which is 1 here uh, for if, uh, if you start with uh, 0 state and that's what we have assumed we will begin with the uh, reset state uh, beginning with 0 state with input bit of 1 the output will be 1 1 as it is in the given uh, uh, trend structure which is uh, redrawn and exploded uh, uh, in uh, this uh, particular slide. Uh, so output would be 1 1 and it reaches state 1 0 and the next information bit is 0. Uh, when it next information bit is 0 it has to take the upper path from a 1 0 state with output of 0 1. So input is 0 with output of 0 1 and hence it is darkened so that when we try to trace back we will know uh, what path has been traced by uh, our information bit sequence. Uh, at 0 1 state uh, the input bit uh, uh, next is 1. Uh, so from uh, from state 0, 1, it reaches 1, 0 state with input bit 1 with output of 0, 0. And hence, uh, parallel with input, the output is also written uh, uh, accordingly. So if with input 1, the output is 1, 1. The input 0, the output is 0, 1. For input 1, the output is 0, 0. We are at this point now. And the next uh, bit that is uh, fed to us is 1. Uh, uh, this bit 1. So at 1, uh, 1, 0 state, the input bit is 1, uh, but the output is 1, 0, and it reaches 1, 1 state. And accordingly, we have written the output as 1, 0. And again, at this point, the input bit is next 1, uh, next bit is 1, and hence it retains the same state. Uh, it, it retains the same state with the uh, input bit as 1 at 1, 1 state with output of 0, 1, and hence the output will be 0, 1. Uh, this is the end of the original information bit. However, we have to flush uh, zeros to reset the memory. At uh, one one state, we will push the first zero. Uh, it will give an output of one zero, and it reaches zero one state. It gives the output of one zero, and again another bit of zero is flushed through, and the output being one one uh, from zero one state to to reset the memory back to zero zero state, and hence for the given information bit sequence 101100. This is a code word uh, which is the output of uh, this particular convolution encoder. Uh, 
uh, if this uh, bit string or uh, the code word is uh, uh, thrown into the channel uh, let's assume that the channel corrupts this particular uh, code word uh, in in as many as uh, say two bits uh, as you have seen here as i have displayed here that this is the original encoder output uh, the channel uh, corrupts in two bit position say this zero is flipped to one and say this zero is flipped to one and this is the one which is fed to the receiver the job of the receiver or the decoding uh, process is uh, utilize uh, vitter research algorithm to get back the original information bit sequence uh, let's try understand whether uh, with the, these errors will, will we be able to uh, get back the original information bit sequence or not even if we don't what is the amount of the uh, error that uh, is incurred due to the corruption of the channel i will start with uh, vitter research algorithm for which we need the same trellis structure as uh, like in a transmitter which will in the same trellis structure trellis structure we will have to begin with the zero zero state and as you know and as you, as you have seen in the previous example that for every uh, node you will have two possible paths to divert from and with uh, the path output you have to calculate the path metric or branch metric with respect to the actual received bit sequence uh, let's uh, quickly start with the zero zero state and this has got two paths uh, to to move from the first path will give the output 0, 0. The bottom path will give the output 1, 1. With actual received first set of uh, uh, bit sequence, uh, 1, 1, the Hamming distance is 0 for the bottom path. The Hamming distance is 2, 1, 1, and 0, 0 will have uh, uh, the difference of Hamming distance would be 2. And hence, those Hamming distances or the path metrics are updated at the next time stamps at respective nodes. Or respective states uh, from these two points we have got you know two paths to taste from i mean we can take any path uh, and they'll have their own respective outputs and again our job is to pick up next bit of uh, set of bit sequence in the output uh, and can try to compare with the actual outputs and uh, and obtain hamming distance and obtain after obtaining hamming distance we'll have to eliminate a path which has got higher highest amount of path metric. Uh, 0, 0 uh, when compared with actual received uh, bit stream which is 1, 1. Uh, obviously this will be 2 and this is 0 and for 0, 1 we will have 1 Hamming distance and for this also we will have 1 Hamming distance. Uh, and this is a point where you have to add, compare and select. ACS is the abbreviation for Viter research algorithm which is the heart of uh, the algorithm. At this point, since uh, this is uh, the Hamming distance of 2, 2 plus 2. So, we have added as the first part and so with other states as well. Uh, with this addition, we can compare that which has got highest amount of uh, path metric uh, at, at the later stage and we can trace it back. Uh, then, uh, the same algorithm continues. At the next stage, uh, the information received is 0, 0. As uh, you have seen, uh, that uh, the output of this output is 1, 1 and 2 uh, is a Hamming distance between these two, uh, which uh, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. But the Hamming distance between these two, this path, which is uh, which is uh, colliding at the same state, uh, 0, 0 and 0, 0, which has got 0 Hamming distance. However, if you accumulate the Hamming distance or the path metric with the previous stage, it will come out to be 4 and hence this path can be eliminated. And hence, the next state will update the path metric with respect to uh, the previous timestamp, which gets accumulated with current uh, path metric, and this gives the least. And hence, this path can be eliminated. Now, similarly, uh, for this uh, for this state or uh, for this node, there are two branches which are incoming. This branch will give me 0, 1 and 0, 0 as one Hamming distance. One plus two accumulation will give you will give me three. However, even this path also has got an Hamming distance of, of 1, but 1 plus 1 is 2 and when you try to add, this is the one which will survive and this will get eliminated. So, whichever is the survivor path or which has got least path metric uh, will be retained, the other is not highlighted, uh, which, which doesn't survive at all. Uh, similarly, 
uh, for this node there are two paths here uh, so one is eliminated based on Hamming distance so between 0 0 and 0 0 it is 0 and hence Hamming distance or the path metric is 1 which is updated at this node uh, similarly this is the path which will survive uh, for the state 1 1 uh, moving ahead with the same algorithm for the next time stamp uh, for the next time stamp uh, the received bit stream uh, set of uh, bit sequence is 1 0 and again try to compare uh, and find uh, with the respective branch output and obtain the Hamming uh, distance as path metric accumulate uh, from the previous time stamp and select from which the path metric is the least so out of these two branches out of these two branches uh, which is uh, coinciding with the state 00, zero this upper path has got uh, one uh, path metric so 3 plus 1 would be 4 uh, however for the bottom path uh, 1 1 and 1 0 is a Hamming distance is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 and hence this is uh, this doesn't survive this path doesn't survive and this is a 1 which will survive for the next time step um, similarly it gets updated with uh, other uh, nodes as well uh, and hence 3 2 3 1 are the updated path matrix at uh, different uh, uh, states uh, on different nodes in the next time step. Similarly, it keeps on growing in the Viterbi search or uh, the Viterbi search algorithm progresses uh, like uh, uh, adding, uh, selecting uh, and uh, adding, comparing and uh, selecting uh, the path uh, which, uh, which gives uh, least amount of path metric. And finally, uh, we'll have to come back to the original state so we cannot, uh, uh, I mean, at the, uh, at the end of uh, the timestamp, we'll have to choose only few nodes uh, in order to get back to the zero state. Uh, zero 01 and 11 one one will give us uh, 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 resetting of uh, zero zero state, and from these two, uh, we can get back to the zero zero state. However, at the end, uh, the output is 11, one one. Uh, channel output is 11. One one. The actual outputs of these uh, paths is 00, zero and 11, one one. and uh, obviously this path uh, it survived as the Hamming distance is 0, 2 plus 0 is 0 and the final Hamming distance or uh, the path metric uh, at the final timestamp is 2 and as you can see at every door there is only one survivor path uh, if you try to trace back from the end state 0 uh, all back to the first state 0 uh, this is the path which will get survived. This is the one for this uh, timestamp, and this is the one for this timestamp, and this is the one for this timestamp, and this is the one, and 0, 0, and this is the one, and this is the one. So, this is how we'll have to go back from end state 0 to first state 0 by choosing the survivor paths at respect to timestamps. Now, our job is to uh, find out or the write down the decoded the decoded output width stream uh, which will uh, begin with the first one which is 1 1 next is 1 0 uh, 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 next is uh, in fact at this uh, at this point this is the only survivor path and if you try to uh, write the actual output and with the actual decoded information bit stream uh, 1 is the actual uh, output for uh, uh, for this particular path uh, and uh, this is how this has been traced back. So this is a path which gets survived. This is a path which gets survived, and so on, and all go, go back. Uh, all goes back to the end zero state, and one one uh, zero one zero zero one zero zero one one zero and one one is a decoded code word, uh, for which we need to decode the original information bit sequence as well, and the input for this branch is one. The input for this branch is 0. So, input for this branch is 1 and 1 for this, 1 for this, 0 and 0 for this and this is the actual output uh, which has been obtained uh, using Twitter B search algorithm. As you can see, the decoded bit sequence exactly matches with information bit sequence even though the channel has introduced errors in uh, errors randomly at two positions. We have just taken an example. You probably for this example, the decoded bit sequence exactly matches with the information bit sequence. It uh, uh, seems to appear that Viterbi search algorithm is uh, extremely perfect, which doesn't have any uh, probability of error. However, it has got its own uh, quantity, 
in defining the error in this process. Uh, if you if you introduce a few more bit errors, uh, probably uh, you incur errors in the decoded bit sequence as well. We'll talk about the probability of error. In fact, we have talked about the probability of error, which is a function of uh, coding gain. Uh, it's a product, inter product of, uh, of uh, exponential uh, raised uh, with the uh, product of uh, Hamming distance and uh, code rate. Um, the probability of error will be non zero in case of heavily corrupted uh, uh, information bit sequence in the channel. Uh, so much uh, so far uh, this video where we have taken information bit sequence and we obtained encoder output using trellis structure. Uh, with encoder output, we have tried to transmit the bit sequence and we have we introduced few errors in the channel. Uh, with the uh, channel output which is received at the decoding process, we used again trellis structure but using Viterbi search algorithm uh, using uh, hard decision. This is we have computed Hamming uh, distance as path metric. Uh, this is the Hamming, uh, uh, so this is the hard decision with a research algorithm uh, with which we obtained uh, uh, the decoded code word as well as the decoded original information bit sequence. Uh, this is an end to end case with the uh, encoder, uh, channel, uh, corruption, and decoding process. Thank you.